Hello everyone, I'm your host MX2, and today we'll be talking about the release of Box Cutter 719 Seox. This release was primarily about getting back in gun points, however there were also some improvements able to be had with bevel and multi-level consistency across uses. We also improved scene and the ability to use Box Cutter in multiple scenes. In addition to that, we also did a small expansion on sort, resulting in overrides which we'll be talking more about. And this version also introduces orthographic view align, which is an alternative way to use box cutter compared to our previous way. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. So whenever you're using box cutter, holding alt and rolling the wheel will allow you to cycle through the shapes. However, if you click on the hard ops button, and you enable box cutter notifications, you're also able to display notifications whenever you're using box cutter. So we're just gonna alt scroll until we get to end gun. And if we click and drag, we can begin drawing an end gun. And then I'm just clicking to create additional points and we'll just create our quick shape. And as you can see so far with end gun, everything's the same as it is normally. However, when we right click to pause, we see that we now have individual dot support, which currently supports only translation. But we also see that these dots also support the usage of last point when it comes to orienting them. So in the future, we'll be adding support for additional things with points. But for now, just know whenever you pause inside of Ingon, you'll have the ability to adjust your points and make movements to them after the fact. Here we are in a previous version of Blender with a previous version of Box Cutter. Typically, whenever you draw a shape and you press B, we'll do our best to keep up with the amount of segments that you have for the primary bevel. But if we were to press B and then press Q to bring in a secondary bevel, while we can adjust the amount of segments that we have in the secondary bevel, if we were to click and apply and make bevel our start shape with Q bevel also enabled, we see that those segments don't actually get respected, causing us to have to go back into helper and roll it up. So this is something that I want to resolve because just drawing cuts over and over and having to adjust the segments is just an unnecessary amount of extra work. So if we bring up the latest version of Blender 2.93.4, here we're using the latest version of Boss Cutter. Now we can show the improvements that have been had. So we'll just draw our bevel. We'll press Q to bring in a Q bevel. From here, if we click and apply, we have performed our shape without a whole lot of work. But if we press D and we make bevel our start operation, we also have Q bevel enable. And now we see that, so now we see that the segments are respected. So even as we draw subsequent shapes, we see that the Q bevel has no issue with respecting the amount of segments that we had specified previously. And this is the crux of our improvements with the bevel in this particular update. So here I am in 2.83 using 718.9 to really illustrate this issue. So if you look at the outliner, you'll best be able to see it. So typically whenever you begin drawing, you see that a cutter's collection is created. However, if we were to make a new scene and we shift A, insert a cube, the moment that I begin cutting, we see that the actual cutter collection that we had previously in our other scene has actually been linked over. We only did two cuts, yet we have four cuts. So let's click plus, make a new scene. We'll shift A, add a cube, and we see that we're already starting off with quite a few cutters, despite us only doing just a couple of cuts. So this is what we aim to resolve in this update, was the ability to support multi-scene a lot better. So if we go over to the current version of Box Cutter, we begin cutting. So far, so good whenever it comes to dealing with our general scene. But once we make a new scene, we can shift A. And once we begin cutting, we see that we are now dealing with a clean and proper collection management system compared to before where it would actually link over the old collection, which was completely not what we wanted. So we'll click plus, make a new scene, and we'll just insert a cube. And you can see that now the cutters are now getting the proper collection attention that's needed. So that way, if we have to just enable all of our cutters by shift clicking the eyeball on it, it'll enable only the cutters that matter versus in the previous version of Blender, where if we enabled all of the cutters, we would actually have cutters showing for boxes that aren't even being dealt with. So we could move some of these around, resulting in us actually going back to other scenes, having a much stranger result than what was intended because we're modifying cutters in a different scene that are not really related to the one at hand, but just letting users know that this has been resolved.
So here we have a box that's cut up with several booleans. We see that this has about 20 booleans on it. So if we press Alt X in order to mirror this via hard ops, we can just click to just add a mirror. Typically, whenever you begin cutting with a mirror modifier present, because of the rules of sort modifiers and mirror being enabled, that means that when you begin cutting on one side, it will appear on the other side. However, th the ability to override that has now been added. So right now I'm on the mirror modifier's name. If we put a space in it, that means that whenever I perform a cut, sort will actually ignore that modifier, allowing me to just begin cutting with the symmetry. However, we also have the ability to add additional mirror modifiers and modifier by pressing A. So let's also mirror this on the Z. And the thing is, is because that other modifier doesn't have anything special done with it, we're still able to symmetrize things on the Z axis whenever it comes to dealing with this additional mirror modifier. However, if we wanted to insert a stop, we can do that in the form of an underscore just by adding an underscore to your modifier's name. That will ensure that your next cut will just be placed on top and sort will no longer attempt to go through these previous modifiers. So we can actually remove the space that we added to the first mirror modifier's name. It doesn't matter because sort will actually stop right where we inserted that underscore. So just letting users know that in the event that you want some additional control whenever it comes to sort, just by putting spaces and underscores in your name, you can actually stop sorting from messing with modifiers a certain range back or even prevent a certain modifier from being affected by sort itself. I'll be talking about this more in the future as we talk about its implementation on the hop side, but just letting users know that there's now an override system added to sort to allow you for even more control over very specific stacks. Typical box cutter use means that whenever you begin dragging your cursor over a surface, you'll orient your drawing to the surface. And if you begin clicking and dragging off of the surface, you'll create what's called a view aligned cut. However, there's a new option that's added called align view and ortho, which means that basically if you're in an orthographic view, you'll be able to draw view aligned cuts every time, no matter if you're on the surface or not. And then when you're in perspective, you'll actually have the ability to perform surface oriented based cuts. So, this is just an alternative spin on our typical filtering system for determining surface versus view, but just letting users know that the option is available just under the view options in the top bar.